Hey, Tiger fans, Ben Rosenbaum here, and this is the first time I'm going to say this out loud with Arizona Cardinals wide receiver and former Towson Tiger Shane Leatherberry. Shane, first of all, congratulations. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, so take us through it. Take us through the day uh, where, where you ended up getting signed with the Cardinals, just what that whole process was like and, and how it went. Uh, well, I mean, it was the last day of the draft. Uh, the first two days, you just felt like they went by so slow, probably because I knew that, you know, my chance would start after the draft. So the first few days, you know, the first two days were so slow and the last day was even like so slow. So I was just trying to keep busy. I was, you know, started to play cornhole. I went fishing for a little bit. And then when it got close to the end, I was like, all right, I'm going to go home now and hope for something. And then uh, shoot, like after the draft, I was like, look, just staring at my phone, just waiting. I know it, like sometimes it takes an hour. Sometimes it could take like a day, the next day. But literally like two minutes after the draft was over, I texted my agent. I was like, so it's been like two minutes. What's, what, how long is this going to take? So. I mean, it was just, I was just so anxious for something to happen or, you know, just, just hoping for the best. And I uh, read the Ed Lee article in the Baltimore Sun about, uh, about the experience for you. And, and you actually had a choice. It was between the Cardinals and the Ravens. Is that right? Yeah, he was talking to the Cardinals and the Ravens. So, I mean, he was, we, he was trying to figure out which would be a better fit and which, you know, in the future uh, where it can be like, you know, I, where I have a better chance of, you know, possibly playing. Yeah, and, and I mean, that's not a bad wide receiver room to be in, I, I guess, as well as a young receiver with uh, Larry Fitzgerald and DeAndre Hopkins. That's got to be something pretty exciting for you to be able to go in and work with those guys. Yeah, shoot. Uh, you know, Fitz, all-time great, and then D-Hop, he's going to be. So I probably I – couldn't, I couldn't have asked for a better chance, better place to start my career at. at. And, and so now everything's a little weird um, because of the, the COVID-19 situation. It's not typical. You're not flying out there anytime soon or anything like that. Uh, so what's what's the process been like since uh, since you signed? Uh, you know, just trying to get in the playbook as much as I can and uh, virtual mini camp starting this week on Friday. So just getting ready for that, you know, you know, meetings and things like that. So pretty much just trying to feel things out and, you know, just go with the flow. And, and Shane, let's talk about your time a little bit at Towson. Um, a, a wild story, your whole collegiate career and a walk on at Towson earned a scholarship your last year, you were all conference performer your last two years. Um, what has Towson meant to you and what has Towson football meant to you as well? Uh, it means so much. Shoot, they, they were the ones who gave me a chance, actually. Uh, Jammer coach Jared Ambrose, he's the one who, you know, responded to one of the emails I sent and he said I could come walk on. So, I mean, I still, like, am so thankful for him. And Coach Harper, you know, he was, he, like I said before, I've said it before, he's, he's the one who made me into a receiver and he just made the game so easy and, you know, Coach, head coach Ambrose, he just, you know, he, he believed in me every day. And whenever I doubted myself, I could go to him. Same thing with Coach Ambrose. Uh, coach Harper, you know, he's taught me so much on and off the field. So that's what I'm most thankful for for Towson, you know, putting Coach Harper in my life. So, he, you know, it's not even on the field. I know if football were to end today, I learned so much from him in the life aspect that I, you know, I'd, I'd be successful in, any, any, in anything. When you think about all the plays and all the moments uh, that happen on both John United's stadium and um, around the CAA, around the country, what are some of the moments or, or plays that stick out to you? What are some of those memories? Some of the plays that stick out to me? Or any I mean, memory, know, any game. Oh, I mean, shoot, I remember Villanova junior year. We, we knew it was, it was, that was like our game we were going into. Like, if we win this, like, we, we really got something going, something special. So, you know, beating them and then, we, 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 like, were playing so well, and our offense was, you know, our offense was fine on all quarters. And to, just to see, you know, everybody balling out, Tom, Bari, you know, everybody was just balling. So that was, like, during the year, and everybody was killing it. That was just, like, the most fun. But every game, too, you know, Friday nights with the receivers and our receiver group, our talks on Fridays, you know, everything. Yeah, and that much. Villanova game, you probably gave us one of the most iconic shots that we've gotten in the last few years after your second touchdown, I think it was a quick little drag route, I think. And then you put a move on a defender and you pointed the football right into our camera. And that was just, when we got that, we were like, Oh man, this Shane's Shane's playing something special this year. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I don't even know. It, I don't even, it didn't even feel that cool in the moment, but like after you guys, you know, docked it up and all, it, it looked pretty cool. But after, after I did, I was like, what in the world did I just do? But it was, I mean, it ended up being pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, no, I mean, in high school, I didn't really get, you know, celebrate or anything because I coached it, but we got a little loose. And when Coach Harper got there, you know, we, we, you know, we had fun with it. But, you know, not, not too loose. So, you know, that was – we tried to – we just tried to make it fun. So, And if you were a fan now, because now you're, you're a Towson fan, um, 
what would you say the outlook is for, for the Tigers? I mean, obviously there's some holes to fill, but, you know, what would have you excited to go to the U on Saturday if you were able to go? Oh, shoot. I mean, it's going to be special. I mean, you got Shane Simpson coming back at running back, you know, DeBerry on defense, Bryce Carter on defense, a whole bunch of, you know, hard workers on both sides of the ball. And uh, the receiver core is going to be special because, shoot, I mean, they got Debari, Caleb Smith, you know, young, young guy Charles Murphy, and a lot of freshmen that came in, and uh, Rutt, Ryan Rukowski. I know he's working hard, and we always give him a hard time, but I know he's going to, you know, do big things uh, next year. So, I mean, it's just going to be special on both sides of the ball. So, it's definitely going to be something to look for. Shane, thanks for taking some time for us as you get ready to – Really put the work in now. Congratulations again, and we'll talk to you soon. Yep, I appreciate the call. Have a good one.